Hello everyone, it's Adam A. Comedy and Tech. Today I'm doing a review of a pretty interesting product. Great value brand, which is Walmart store brand, glass LED light bulbs, or more correctly, lamps. These LED light bulbs look almost exactly like their incandescent grandparents, but use about 90% less power, and a four pack is only about 10 bucks at Walmart. So I have three varieties of these light bulbs. Eight clear 40 watt equivalents, eight frosted 40 watt equivalents, and four frosted 60 watt equivalents. I was very pleased with these light bulbs after I first installed them. The color temperature of these bulbs, 2700 Kelvin, closely matches the color temperature of standard incandescent light bulbs. It's so close that I can't tell the difference. Additionally, the brightness of these bulbs also appears to closely match their respective incandescent equivalents. Using my kilowatt meter, I can verify that these bulbs consume the amount of power that they claim to. The reason why these bulbs are so efficient compared to other LED bulbs is that they do not contain a transformer to step down the voltage. Instead, they contain many LEDs in series, the LED strips, to reduce the voltage across each LED to a level that does not blow them out. They still do, however, contain a full bridge rectifier and a smoothing capacitor to convert the incoming sinusoidal AC waveform to a smoother DC, because LEDs do not like AC. This lack of transformer allows the base of the bulb to be much smaller than classic LED bulbs. I'm not sure whether this design will increase or reduce longevity. On one hand, there is no transformer circuitry to fail, and this is what usually fails in an LED light bulb. A failed transformer causes the bulb to appear to burn out at once, while the actual light emitting diodes will get dimmer and dimmer as they fail. On the other hand, however, the LEDs are in series, so if one fails, all the diodes in series with it also fail. I believe that there are two series circuits of LEDs in each bulb, so one failed LED would cause the bulb's brightness to drop to half. Hopefully, the LEDs are well made and will last for a while. Another advantage of these bulbs compared to other LED light bulbs is that they emit pretty much no radio interference. My AM radio is unfazed by the Walmart glass LED bulb right near it, while it throws a fit when traditional transformer style LED bulbs or even CFLs are on nearby. When, for example, people were complaining that the crowds at the Trump rallies say... I said, wait a minute, I'm the first one, if I'm there... ...that the um, Trump administration should pose credentials. And here's why. His job is to get information to the American people. Right? That's the job of the White House correspondent. It's a prestigious job. I believe that this lack of interference is due to the transformerless style of these bulbs, as transformers are a source of radio interference. I've been using these light bulbs in my home for about six months so far, and they are all still burning bright and staying cool. They have a three-year warranty on them, assuming three hours max use per day, and I am keeping the receipts. Over the course of owning these, I have, however, noticed a few quirks about them. Due to the physical layout of the LED strips, they emit more light out the sides than out the top. This isn't too noticeable, however, and they still worked perfectly in the overhead lights in my upstairs hallway. Additionally, these light bulbs exhibit a usually unnoticeable 120 Hz flicker, more than that of incandescence. I did not notice this for a while, but fast moving objects exhibit a slight stroboscopic effect, being more noticeable when the bulb is dimmed. This stroboscopic effect is not nearly as bad, however, as magnetically ballasted fluorescent lighting. Lastly, these bulbs buzz when dimmed. They are completely silent at full brightness, but dimming them using either of my touch lamps creates an audible buzz. The buzz is not loud enough for me to care, but some people may be irritated by it, especially if it was in a bedroom. So, thumbs up to the realistic incandescent looking appearance, color temperature and brightness, extremely low power consumption, lack of radio frequency interference, and complete silence, meaning no buzzing, when at full brightness. 
and thumbs down to the reduced light output from the top of the bulb, usually unnoticeable 120 hertz flicker, and the audible buzz when dimmed. Overall, I would give these bulbs 4 out of 5 stars. I will probably purchase these again in the future due to their extreme efficiency, appearance, and value. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to Adam A Comedy and Tech for more great reviews.